In this video, we're going to create a histogram uh, based on using the frequency function in Excel. Um, I have a set of uh, five columns here with uh, 25 uh, values in each one. Uh, there, These are random numbers. You'll see why I do that in a minute. Uh, and I use the ran between function to do that. Uh, the uh, particular um, form of that returns an integer. If I want fractional values, I have to create them somehow. So what I did was multiplied the uh, range by in which I wanted the random numbers to fall by 10. And then I divided the whole. Um, and so I get 100. It goes from 120 to 146. And uh, when I divide it by 10, then the values go from 12 to 14.6. And you can see that um, indeed that is the case. Um, I've also set the same set of bins that I used in the other histogram uh, video uh, from 12 to 14.6. And so what I want is the frequency function. So I'll type frequency here as a column title. And it would be very nice if I didn't fat finger that. So uh, there we go, frequency. And uh, to do this, I highlight the um, column beside the set of bins. And then I click up here in the uh, editing uh, bar and I click or I type equals frequency. Open in parentheses. I highlight the um, I have to use my mouse to do this. OK, um, I have I highlight the set of uh, data, the data array, put a comma. I highlight the uh, data bins. I close the parentheses. Before you do anything else, then you hold the shift key down, you hold the control key down, and you hit enter. And it automatically puts the uh, formula in the um, appropriate, uh, and next to the appropriate bin, and then calculates it. Now you'll notice that when it does that, it puts a squiggly uh, or curly brace, excuse me, uh, in front and after the formula. Uh, and the only way to get this formula in here properly is to uh, follow those particular set of instructions, uh, which include highlighting the area which you want the um, uh, frequency function, uh, editing the first one, and then hit Control, Shift, and Enter. So you say, well, it, uh, you know, that's exciting. Data analysis might have been just as well to do. Uh, I'll show you what goes on here, why I did this here in a second. So we have the frequency. I want to create the histogram itself. So I've highlighted the, the frequency bins. I click column, 2D column, and it puts that in there for me. And now, um, if I held the Control-Alt key down and hit F9, I recalculate the spreadsheet. Watch what happens. Well, let's see, i got to be in the spreadsheet itself, I think. You can see that when it recalculates, the frequency function automatically um, updates the graph. Uh, and that's very useful, uh, especially if you're doing a simulation. Uh, if you're just doing a one-off calculation, then the data analysis method works just as well.